back to our channel with Mac Masters UAE. All our Mac Masters UAE in the channel like Swagatha. In our last video, we have completed question number four from the exercise three point one. In this video, let us start with question number five. So question number five is half the perimeter of rectangular garden whose length is four meter more than the width is thirty six meter. Find the dimensions of the garden. Solution is. Half the perimeter of the rectangular garden is 36 meters. So, perimeter 5, 2 is equal to 36 meter. This is given. Let us take length is equal to x. And breadth is equal to y. What is the perimeter of rectangle? Rectangle the perimeter of formula is 2 into L plus B R. That is perimeter is equal to 2 into L plus B. Here given as half the perimeter. Half of 2 into L plus B equal to 36 sum. This 2 and 2 will cancel. We can write as L plus B equal to 36. Our L is variable X and B is variable Y. So X plus Y is equal to 36. This is our equation number 1. It is given as length is 4 meter more than the breadth. So X is equal to Y plus 4. X minus Y. This Y will go other side as negative x minus y is equal to 4 and this is our equation number 2. Let us draw a graph for this two equation. First, draw a box and find out values of x and y. First, okay, x is 0. When x is equal to 0, that is 0 plus y is equal to 36. Therefore, y is equal to 36. Next, let us take y is equal to 0. When y is equal to 0, x plus 0 equal to 36. Therefore, x is equal to 36. When y is equal to 0, x is equal to 36. For the second equation, let us find out points for x and y. When x is equal to 0, 0 minus y is equal to 4. This negative will go other side and y is equal to minus 4. Second case, when y is equal to 0, x minus 0 is equal to 4 and x is equal to 4. So, these are the points for the both equations. From these values, let us draw a graph for the equations and find out the solutions. For the first equation, points are when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 36. Here, we took the point as 4, 8, 12, 16. That is 4 and multiple side. Then, we will 36. That is 4 and multiple side. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 30, 32, 36, 40. That is the points that we mark. That is the points that we mark. That is the points that we mark. That is the 4 and multiple side. Then only we can reach 36. For the first equation, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 36. So our point is here. 0, 36. And second point is, when x is equal to 36, y is equal to 0. Join these two points. Next, for the second equation, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 4. So, our point is here. And second point is, when x is equal to 4, y is equal to 0. Join this two point and extend the line. These are the two lines we got from this boxes. 
and our line is intersecting at point x is equal to 20 and y is equal to 16. Twenty sixteen. So our solution is length equal to x is equal to twenty and breadth y is equal to sixteen meter. This is our answer. Next is question number six. Given the linear equation two x plus three y minus eight equal to zero, write another linear equation. In two variables such that geometrical representation of the pair so formed is in that first case is intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are only in that condition a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. This is our condition. So, our equation is the same. So, our given equation is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equal to 0. So, next equation is the same ratios are the same. If it is same, it will become as coincident. So, let us write an equation in such a manner that a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. Then, so, let us write an equation in such a manner that a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. So, let us write as 3x plus 4y minus 5 equal to 0. So, let us check here. What is a1 by a2? From this equation a1 by a2 is equal to coefficient of variable x from the first equation is 2 and second equation is 3. So a1 by a2 is equal to 2 by 3 and b1 by b2 equal to 3 by 4. c1 by c2 is equal to 8 by 5. Minus 8 by minus 5 this, this you can write as 8 by 5. 5. So, here a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2. So, our lines are intersecting and equations are consistent. Problem number 2, parallel lines. For parallel lines, condition is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2. Condition is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2. Our equation, given equation is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equal to 0. From ratios is selected a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2. So, if you are uh, multiplying these two variables that is a x and y multiply with the same number then only we will get the ratio same that is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2. So here multiply with 2 for variable x and y. So 2 into 2 is 4, 4x plus 2 into 3 is 6, 6y and minus 8 uh, for the constant, let us write any other number. Plus 9 equal to 0. These are second equations. After that, let us check what is a1 by a2. a1 by a2 is equal to 2 by 4. This 2 is divisible in 4 2 times. So, you can write as 1 by 2 and b1 by b2 equal to 3 by 6. 3 is divisible in 6 so we can write as 1 by 2. Next is c1 by c2. c1 by c2 is equal to minus 8 by 9. So here a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2. Next Roman number 3 is coincident lines. This is the corresponding item. Second equation sir, we have to find out. Given equation is 2x plus 3y minus 8 equal to 0. Condition for coincident lines is, what is the condition? a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2. So, let us multiply this equation 1 with any constant. 
that is we can multiply with any numbers so let us multiply with 3 then the equation is 6x 2 into 3 is 6 so we will get it as 6x plus 3 into 3 is 9 9 by minus 8 into 3 is 24 this is our second equation after this let us find out the ratios and check whether it is correct so here a1 by a2 equal to the coefficient of variable x is 2 and 6 2 by 6 2 will go in 6 3 times you can write as 1 by 3 and b1 by b2 is equal to 3 by 9 3 will go in 9 3 times we can write as 1 by 3 and c1 by c2 equal to minus 8 and minus 24 minus 8 by minus 24 this negative and negative will become as positive and 8 will go in 24 3 times we can write as 1 by 3 so here our a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 so the lines are coincident next is question number 7 draw the graph of the equations x minus y plus 1 equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y minus 12 equal to 0 determine the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle formed by these lines along the x-axis and shade the triangle region so let us find out the points for this equations first equation is x minus y plus 1 equal to 0 and second equation is 3x plus 2y minus 12 equal to 0. First condition is when x is equal to 0. x is equal to 0 substitute y and then y is a value that is 0 minus y plus 1 equal to 0 minus y equal to this plus 1 will go other side as minus 1 and y is equal to 1. So when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1. Second point is when y is equal to 0. When y is equal to 0 x minus 0 plus 1 equal to 0 and x is equal to this plus 1 will go other side as negative 1. We will get the value as negative 1 for x when y is equal to 0. This for our first equation. And next for the second equation, when x is equal to 0, we will get it as 3 into 0 plus 2y minus 12 equal to 0. That is 2y is equal to this minus 12 will go other side as plus 12 and y is equal to 12 divided by 2. So, we will get it as y is equal to 12 by 2 equal to 6. So, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 6. y is equal to 0, we can write as 3x plus 0 minus 12 equal to 0. That is 3x is equal to 12. That is minus 12 will go as plus 12 to the other side of the equal to. Then x is equal to 12 divided by 3. That is equal to 4. These are the points for the second equation. From these points, let us draw a graph and find out the solutions. For the first equation, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So, our point is here. 0, 1. And second point is when x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 0. These are the two points. Join these two points and extend the line. Next, for the second equation, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 6. And when x is equal to 4, y is equal to 0. Join these two points and extend the line. They told us to shade the triangle along the x-axis. So, our triangle is here.
After this, let us find out the coordinates. This coordinate is minus 1, 0. And this vertices is 2 along x-axis and 3 along y-axis. Coordinate is 2 and 3. And here it is 4, 0. So our coordinates for the triangle along x-axis is minus 1, 0, comma, 2, 3, and 4, 0. And we shaded the triangle along this x-axis. So this is our answer. By this we have completed exercise 3.1 of the linear equation in two variable. If you have any doubt in this video, please do ask in the comment box. If you like this video, please like and share it and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.